。同學，今次我們將會學習 transitional words and compound sentences one concept transitional words and compound sentences one。今課教英文怎樣用 transitional words？ 大家還記得什麼是 compound sentences？ compound sentences。Compound sentences contain two or more pieces of information, and the pieces are linked by connectives. Connectives are words such as "but" or "therefore." Here are three examples of compound sentences with the connectives written in bold. For example, the boys walked down the road and their parents waved from the house. For example, the dog came rushing in, so the cat ran under the table. For example, my friend gave me a lift because it was raining. One advantage of compound sentences is that a writer can build more detail into their writing. However, one problem is that some students can get carried away and write long, rambling sentences. 有些学生可以忘乎所以，写长句子不着边际。For example, my mate came round and said, "Do you want to go out?" I did so. We went to the park and sat around for a bit, and then these other girls came over. Do you spot the problem? Remember, care needs to be taken with connectives. Using two connectives in a sentence is usually enough. They don't need to be used in every sentence. A. Use of an. Use to join two or more words, phrases, clauses, or sentences together. Purpose to show that the words, phrases, clauses, or sentences are similar. Number one, nouns. We saw koalas. We saw wombats. We saw kangaroos. We saw koalas, wombats, and kangaroos. Number two, adjectives. The tour was enjoyable. The tours were interesting. The tours were enjoyable and interesting. Number three, adverbs. The tiger snarled fiercely. The tiger snarled noisily. The tiger snarled fiercely and noisily. Number four, verbs. The eagle saw the mouse. The eagle caught the mouse. The eagle ate the mouse. The eagle saw, caught, and la- ate the mouse. Number five sentences. We left Hong Kong the morning. We went diving in the afternoon. We left Hong Kong the morning and went diving in the afternoon. No, we can also replace repeated nouns with pronouns. Examples: We saw a lion. We photographed the lion quickly. We saw a lion and photographed it quickly. Exercise A. Do the exercise below using the connectives and. Part one, nouns. Underline the nouns of each sentence and then use and to join the sentences. A, I ate steak. I ate potatoes. I ate ice cream. I ate steak, potatoes, and ice cream. B, I study history. I study art. I study languages. I study history, art, and languages. C. Last year I visited Japan. Last year I visited Korea. Last year I visited Thailand. Last year I visited Japan, Korea, and Thailand. Part two, adjectives. Underline the adjectives of each sentence and then use and to join the sentences. A, the parties was fun. The parties were exciting. The parties was fun and exciting. B, the plane flight was long. The plane flight was boring. The plane flight was long and boring. Part three, adverbs. Analyze the adverbs of each sentence and then use and to join the sentences. A, the girl sang sweetly. The girl sang softly. The girl sang purely. The girl sang swiftly, softly, and purely. B, the man drove carefully. The man drove slowly. The man drove carefully and slowly. Part four, verbs. Underline the verbs of each sentence and then use and to join the sentences. A. I had the baby. I kissed the baby. I fed the baby. I had, kissed and fed the baby. B. The lion chased the deer. The lion caught the deer. The lion ate the deer. The lion chased, caught and ate the deer. Part five, sentences. Join the sentences using and. A. We woke up early. We went swimming before breakfast. We relaxed on the beach all day. We woke up early. 
went swimming before breakfast and relaxed on the beach all day. B. The students went to school during the day. The students joined some activities after school. The students went to school during the day and joined some activities after school. B. Use of but. Use to join two words, phrases, clauses, or sentences together. Purpose. To show that the words, phrases, clauses, or sentences are different or opposite in meaning. The use of but highlights contrast. Number one, adjectives. We were exhausted. We were fascinated. We were exhausted but fascinated. Number two, adverbs. Joe drove the truck quickly. He drove it carefully. Joe drove the truck quickly but carefully. Number three, verbs. I did not see any lions. I saw some crocodiles. I did not see any lions, but I saw some crocodiles. Number four, sentences. It was raining. We went hiking. It was raining, but we went hiking. No, common mistake. It was raining, full stop, but we went hiking. No, the use of a comma before connective, but. Exercise B. Do the exercise below using the connectives, but. Part 1. Adjectives. Underline the adjectives and use but to join the two sentences. A. The exam was long. This was easy. The exam was long but easy. B. The boy was big. He was not strong. The boy was big but not strong. Part 2. Adverbs. Analyze the adverbs and use but to join the two sentences. A. The boy shouted loudly. The boy shouted happily. The boy shouted loudly but happily. B. I did the work quickly. I did it well. I did the work quickly, but I did it well. Part 3. Verbs. Analyze the verbs and use but to join the two sentences. A. I play many sports at school. I never play football. I play many sports at school, but I never play football. B. I can drive a car. I cannot drive the truck. I can drive a car, but I cannot drive the truck. Part 4. Sentences. A. I try to help the old woman. The old woman refused my help. I try to help the old woman, but the old woman refused my help. B. The police chased the thieves quickly. The police could not catch the thieves. The police chased the thieves quickly, but the police could not catch the thieves. C. Use of or. Use. Number one. To show that there is more than one possibility. Examples. A. Would you like tea or coffee? B. I think she's in class 1A or 1B. C. I want to go to Tokyo or Osaka. D. I will study either medicine or economics at university. Number 2. As a negative version of N. Example. I can speak English and Japanese, but I cannot speak Spanish or French. Exercise C. Use the connective or to join the sentences below. Number one. Would you like to study in America? Would you like to study in England? Would you like to study in America or England? Number two. I don't know if the party is on Friday night. I don't know if the party is on Saturday night. I don't know if the party is on Friday night or Saturday night. Number three. I don't understand algebra. I don't understand trigonometry. I don't understand algebra or trigonometry. Now do the exercise to test yourself by exercise and answers. Join the two sentences into one sentence using suitable conjunctions.